Hey guys, we're back out in the garage today, working on the old Explorer. Right here, we are going to uh, try to uh, make this so it matches. Right here, see, we'll make it all black, all right? So uh, there it is, we'll drive it out of the garage and show you later, but we're gonna work in the garage. Less dust, less wind, just a beautiful thing. So here's a simple project you can do. I got a little wrap. Now I learned a lot from CJ wraps, uh, or CK wraps. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, don't buy the cheap uh, wrap. Go with your 3Ms, your Averys. Go with good stuff, all right? I did my first wrap job. was cheap. You saw that video. I struggled with it some. Plus, it was a complicated surface. This is a simple surface. So, I've got the 3M 280 in gloss black. I've got 3M knife tape. You're going to see how that works. This is going to be more epic than the other one. Stay tuned. All right, talking about the tools. There's some of the tools. We got a couple... Scrapers. We got the applicator with the uh, safety edge on it. We got some scissors to cut with. We got our rubbing alcohol. We got our glove. We got some blue tape. We got our knife tape over here. Very important knife tape. 3M knife tape. Uh, we got a rag to use with our alcohol. And over here, you actually have the uh, wrap right there. So let's get started. All right, guys. Hey, we're going to get started. First thing I always tell you is alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. Wipe it down, wipe it down, wipe it down. Gotta be clean. Okay. All right, guys. Alcohol is on. Look at the rag. Now, a lot of that came out of the crevices, but uh, gotta have it clean. I'll put that away. Got to get out our trim tape. Now this is knife tape. It's 3M. Yeah, it's not cheap, but it works the best. Okay, so get your knife tape out. This is what it looks like. You can find the end. Uh, one key here is to go way past where you want. So if you have a problem, you've got a way to uh, work on it. So we're going to start it here and take it to here. Start it here, and you, what we do is we turn it up like this. Uh, and we got to get our scissor, cut it loose. We got right here. We can pull this piece loose here. Do it like this. See, that's where we're going to turn. Bring it up like this so it's beyond. And you want to rub this down real good. You'll see the green disappear. The, 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 the one green disappears when it's pushed down good, all right? Um, we still got our rag. We want to wipe this a little bit if we think we got skin oil on pink. We're going to do another one at the bottom. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it like this. Put it on the window here. Bring it into here. Cut this off here. Doesn't look like it's going to stick well to the rubber. So that is what it is. Wrap this back. Don't waste too much of it. Not sure that's going to work, but hey, we're going to try. Back in the bag. It's in an airtight bag. Doesn't say why, but that's where I'm keeping it. All 
All right, phase two here. Phase two is vinyl. Now, when we did the first one, we did some cutting to try to save some small pieces for experiments. Doesn't really matter. Uh, these pieces are not really big enough for anything, okay? So, we pre-cut a piece that's going to go on here. Just like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to wipe this all down again. Make sure we got all the dirt off of here. Dust. Don't want any dust behind this. You'll see the dust, believe it or not. Oh, well, there you go. So now, this is a little hard to get started. If you get it started, you can peel it off. Now, the key here is not to let it ever touch itself. Once you peel it, and to peel it continuously as much as possible so you don't get little glue lines. All right? Now I'm going to come here, and I'm going to try to do this. Yep, see, it's not good, not good, not good. Go down further. Take it down a little, then you can do this. Peel this up, pull it down nice and smooth. Now, working from the center, you have to lift it a little, you lift it a little, pull it down like this. Okay, so two things we have to do. One, I work better without the glove. And we're going to uh, cut this in through here. Uh, up under the window. Cut that. Tape. All right, so here's what you got to do now. You got to fold these little tapes. You fold about a half inch of it on the end. Hold this down and pull it. You pull this. And that comes right down, you watch this, right down the middle of the stripe. Just kind of go like this. And it kind of comes down the middle just like this. You can see how that come out. All right, that's beautiful. Now we can pull this piece out. And 
remember you got to pull this out. Got to pull both both sides of this out. See, that's one side. I only got one side. There's still a side underneath. I got to get that out. And that just comes out like this. Once that's out, you get your glove. Now we do the top one. It's not that easy, but it works well. And you can see how you can do nice turns with that if you really want. It's really nice there. All right, so we started cutting this. We got to finish this, but we need some heat gun action. So, little heat gun action up here. That's got it pretty good. Now, see what we got? Let me take this off. Ooh, that looks nice. Now, still got a problem. Can't open the door. All right, so what we do is we rub this down as much as we can right here, kind of stretch it into the groove. And we carefully cut. Don't scratch your paint. There you go. Now you can open the door. Once you open the door, put your trusty glove on. And it's pretty easy over here. You can just kind of wrap this edge. Always wrap in the same direction here. So any bubbles in this stuff go out the end. And then the same thing over here. And kind of pull that rubber away. Should go back in a day or so. All right, so let's get it out on the driveway and y'all see what it looks like.
All right, guys, here it is. The finished product looks pretty slick, don't it? So now you got that nice continuous flow of the black there. Looks pretty damn nice. Easier to do flat surfaces, all right? We've got a project we're going to do with uh, some hoods. Uh, we're going to do our Dodge Ram. We're going to do our Jeep. So hang in there. We're going to do some hood work. Maybe we'll do hood on here eventually. Uh, so thanks for watching. Okay, guys. Here we are out on the driveway. You can see what we did here. Look at that. Boy, doesn't that look nice. All right. Now we got continuous flow for the windows all the way front to back. So here's an easy project to do. Things I can recommend. One, use 3M products or name brand products. Don't use cheap vinyl. Uh, number two, use same thing with the cut tape. Buy expensive cut tape. Worth the money. Uh, a little experimenting shows me that I did the right thing here. So, easy project. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll get you more cool videos of what we're going to do to explore next. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Make sure the post notifications are on so you get every update as they happen.